Hi, I'm Nawid Ansari, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to write code for joining a host or server in server side. So, without any further ado, let's begin. You remember, in last video, we sent a join host request with host number that we want to join, and we want a player number. So, server should give us a player number. So, we know what is our player number or what is our player id okay so let's just go to our server in here we just send a join host request and in here we should set that we should create our function for joining a host and add it to our state machine so let's just add it in here copy and paste this in here and we want to write for join host and in here i want to change this function to join host okay and i want to create this function down but in here okay so we say function the name is join host and we need this information as well and like we did in all of these functions we just saying we are in join host for example in here so we know that our state machine is working fine okay so let's just check this out run our game run our server and in here run our game to see if it's working or not right now because we just run our server there is no host in it so let's just click in here several times so it creates three hosts if you click on join it will show that three host for you and when we click on this host number one it's yeah it's sending host number that we want to join the type is one that is join host and we are in join host function so everything is working fine so let's just do this join host so if you follow my videos about this multiplayer game you know that we use this hosts array in here and each host has a a number and each host can have a lot of player in it so each host has an array of players okay so we should add that player but what the player need it need a player number okay so we should set that first of all we should get how many player in is in this host right so let's just do that I want to create a variable I want to call it number of players okay number of players is equal to hosts you know that all the hosts are here and the host that we want to check the host number of that is what is coming from the game maker this local host number okay so let's just say data dot let's just copy and paste from here this host number paste it in here so we want to check the number of players in this host array with index of host number okay and with length we can get the number of player but let me show you something of course all of you know this by now so let's say we have two players. So the length of the array is two. Player number one, the index of that is zero. Player number two, the index of that is number one because the array starts from zero. Let's say there is a three player in this host. Player number zero, player number one, and player number two. So how many player we have? Three. We have three player in this host. But the, because the number is a start from zero, the last player number is two, okay? So if we get the length of this array in here, it will give us three, right? So we can use that three to add another player, okay? So let's just go to our server. So now we can use this number of players. And I want to change something for our player. You know that our player right now is just getting X and Y. But I want to add player number as well. So we say this dot player number number is equal player number okay and we should add this in here maybe it's better to add this player number at the beginning in here so first we give the player number and after that x and y so we need player number as well and in create host let me go in create host in here the player id we should set it in this player as well so the, because this is the player that is creating this host we give it the player number of zero okay so where else we should change it away okay so now we can use this number of players to create our new player no let's just say hosts okay the host that we want to add player to it is this data dot host number that we get from game maker right and with just a push function in here we can push a player to this host and in here we should say new player and the player number is this number of players so let's just say number of players the x and y let's just give it zero and zero or no of course 
this this x and y at the initialization in join host is where you want to spawn your player so so you maybe should change it in future but right for now it's enough next i want to send back this data i want to tell the game maker that your player number is this okay so we we will use this player number key in here and in here we say data dot player number is equal player numbers okay so now we add the player number to this map that is data and now we can send it back we can just copy and paste this from here and after that let's just say console.table so it will show us the player in it okay so now everything should be fine and let's just save first and in here stop the server and run it again and let's just go to our game maker and run it right now there is no host so let's just create a host in here two three and because our player no has three private variable in here it will show it like this it won't show the details on it okay it's just showing the type of it okay so let's just go to join and you can see the number of player in each host is just one so let's just join the host one with what player let's just click on it and now you can see that the host number one has two three four five six and it will add it again and again and again until it received that data until this did we join will be true so we didn't make that so the next next step is to get that data and save that player number and tell this function this is the function to not send join request anymore okay so let's just add a async networking in here and what i'm gonna do i want to copy and paste for from this for example from here and let's just paste it in here okay we, we want to just use those code that we write before so we don't have to write it again the message type that we want to check is join host okay the type is this everything is okay and the thing that we want to check is this is let me show you is this player number okay and let's just get that player number and in here i want to say player number okay and of course we could just use global player number so let's just do that and instead of creating new variable we just use global.player number so with that we know our player number so after that i want to say did we joined to true so don't send join request anymore okay so now let's just <laughs> stop this server you can see it's every two seconds it's sending join request every time so let's just run our server again now let's just host the game host three game for example four game you can see there is four host in here and if you click on join you can see it show us four host in here let's just join the host number one for example okay let's just click on it and now you can see that we are at the host number one host number one has two player in it right now okay so we can use that so in here you can see that we get the player number player number one and with that we join a host in the next video i will show you how you can make your platformer game to a multiplayer platformer game it's easy but you should watch all of these videos and practice with it so you know what i'm what i'm doing so you should remember that what we put in this obj global we always set the host number we always set the player number we have this client we have this message type so you should practice to when i want to convert my platformer game to multiplayer game for you to not getting confused so please just practice what i'm what i'm doing and after that we will learn a lot so that was all for joining a host i hope you liked this video it's my honor to have you at the end and of course it is my honor to have you at this channel thank you very much for watching bye